the first thing we need is GNOME Tweak Tools in order to change the install themes. So just let's install it first from Ubuntu Software Center. You can also use the terminal, but I'm using the GUI just so that everyone can use it. So once you have that, you can just launch it and there you can see that there is option to change the themes and icons. So let's let's get a theme first. My favorite this time is Pop OS. We can get it from its GitHub repository. Uh, if you scroll down, you will see some commands to install this theme automatically using the official PPA. And we're going to use this. That's a way you'll be automatically getting the updates on the themes and icons. So I prefer to use the official PPA for themes and icons because they are continually updated. So you get uh, icons for the new applications which might not be you know created when the theme was developed so let's just run those famous three commands to first add the repository update the repository and then we'll install it while it takes some time uh, well it does take some time so why not we okay okay just install it uh, this single command will install both icons and the GTK theme, theme and also the, the GNOME shell theme. So one command to install all three of them. You can also install them individually. Uh, I'm going to show you where exactly you can get new themes. So this is the official GNOME website, GNOME look. And here you can get icon themes, GTK3 themes and GNOME shell themes. What you need is three things GTK3, icon themes, and shell themes. So, in as I said, we can install them individually. So, in this case, I'm using, uh, I'm going to download a GTK3 theme. So, uh, remember to download GTK3, not GTK2, because uh, the modern GNOME version uses gtk3 framework so we have downloaded a gtk3 themes we are also we have also installed all three themes using the pop os uh, uh, ppa so let's see how to change it just run the themes uh, tweaks tool and then from there you can use the applications option this is where the gtk3 themes comes in action actually so you can see the theme uh, the application theme has been changed and then you change the icons and then it's time for maybe shell which actually changes a few things on the panel top panel and the desktop notifications we'll see that uh, how to change that in a few moment so this is the new icon themes. It looks lovely. It's my favorite. I mean, it's being developed by System76 Ubuntu laptop uh, vendor, and it's fabulous. So um, just Control H to show the hidden files and create dot themes directory and dot icons directory if they are not already existing what we are going to do is remember we downloaded the the gtk3 themes called ant we're going to see the second method of uh, second way of using uh, uh, installing themes in ubuntu 17.10 or maybe 18.04 as well so just extract the file copy paste it into the themes folder because it was uh, gtk3 themes we are uh, copy pasting it in the themes folder if it was icon we should have used the icons folder so it won't reflect right away because you have to actually restart gnome tweaks and after that you'll see the new theme here and as you can see it's uh, it's another beautiful theme actually so that's uh, one way of doing that uh, let's talk about the gnome shell stuff for that we need to install gnome extensions
this there are uh, several ways not several but there's like two three ways to get the gnome shell extensions uh, ubuntu or other distribution provide a package of extension which you can install using the, the command which i just showed and then when you do the uh, open the tweaks folder you will see there are some extensions available and here you just need to enable user themes extension and after that it won't take immediate effect so you have to restart the Ubuntu tweaks sorry gnome tweaks tool and when you do that now you'll see that the red or the triangle has gone and you can change the theme here and you can see on the top panel the things have changed it is more integrated that way how let me show this is the default notification of the ambience theme but if you change it to pop you can see that it's in it's using the elements of the theme now so this is how this gnome shell is different from the gtk3 theme i hope you find this tutorial useful do subscribe and give us a thumbs up see you next time bye bye